Hello, my name is Beckett, and I have little bobbly things in front of my eyes. And I have googly eyes. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, we're here in a, in a hole in the ground, uh, in a mod pack called Stone Block 2. I wanted to uh, check it out, see what it's all about at least. Uh, what do we have? We have Pet Rock. We have uh, five Stonians. Apparently we use it to tame a pet rock. And uh, craft rock kibble. We have some apples. And we have a quest book. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> where do we begin? The building block of life. I'll bet this is where we begin. Uh, gather stone pebbles. Pebbles are obtained by breaking stone with an empty hand. Okay. So, uh, I think we're gonna break over here where the torch is. Alright, I got two pebbles from that, I guess we're, we're looking for 16. There's 8, 10, 12. Fourteen... Sixteen. Okay, when we complete the quest, we get a little tool tip. So, random reward. We got eight chance cubes. I am not messing with those. <laughs> Maybe later. Cobblestone. Combine four. Okay, so we want twelve cobblestone. This is enough to get us... Four. Okay, so I'm going to break a bunch of rocks by hand, I guess. Then we'll be back. Alright, there's our cobblestone. Let's uh, see what this gives us. More random rewards. Two mechanical crafters. Okay. I guess we'll just put these down. Uh, I don't know. Okay, some kind of auto crafting. I don't really know how it works. What are these for? Extra utilities? That was a manual for it. Uh, okay, like normal but stone. <laughs> Craft a cobblestone chest. Okay. Cobblestone chest. Do not have permission to use JEI's cheat mode. Cobblestone parts. Okay, how do we make these? Just with... okay. So, eight cobblestone like that should give us four cobblestone parts. And that should allow us to make the chest. Alright. That wasn't too complicated. Throw these chance keys in there. Um, those things are dangerous. Once we can uh, upgrade their quality, we might take a look at them, but those things are dangerous. Okay, crafting table. Stone crafting table. Works similar to the regular one? I don't know. Okay, fine. Let's see how we make one of those. There we go. Okay, it's just four cobblestone. Crafting time. Alright, so after punching rocks, we have ourselves a crafting table. More random rewards. Two diamond tier barrel upgrades. So, we'll get some barrels. <laughs> Those will uh, be quite handy. Dirt mouth. Make dirt. Craft a stone hammer and use it on cobblestone to get gravel and then to get dirt. Okay. So how do we make a stone hammer? I'm sure this is going to involve me breaking more stuff. This is what we want, I think. Stone rod. Okay. So we make the stone rod just like so. Uh, or we don't. Wait. 
Oh, here we go. Stone rods. Alright, I'm going to break some more rocks. Alright, let's see here. And cobblestone, and we make the hammers, not like that, like this. Now I think it said use it on cobblestone, but we're going to try it just on uh, some of the regular stone here. Okay, so you get cobble when you do this, it's just a lot faster. So we're going to grab a bunch. Uh, what did it say? Let's put it down. Let's start with three. Why not? I'm sure I'll be doing more. So that gives us gravel. And that gave us dirt. More random rewards. An exchanging gadget. That's pretty cool. We don't have any way to charge it. But it's cool to know those are in the pack. Okay, craft a stone crook. Can use it on dirt to get any vanilla sapling. Okay. Uh, stone crook. I have a feeling I know, uh, yeah. This will give us a, put this down and I break it. Okay, that gave us a birch sapling. That gave us another birch sapling. That gave us an oak sapling. So let's make a little more dirt here. Gravel down. Now this is the hammer to get dirt. And we're going to put it right here. <laughs> we'll put it right here. Now let's see if this has the yes. So by uh, pressing shift, you can get this thing. Let's see if we have a vein miner. Oh, it doesn't look like it. And normally using these crooks will uh, increase your chance of uh, getting sapling, and you might get a still for in it. But you see, that's a sky block. It is a crook though. So we'll see what happens here. An apple, that's nice. We should get it on too, so we'll have to be aware of that. We're trying to break these. Let's see. Oh, yes, indeed, we got some silk horns. Okay, very cool. So, we'll just mine this. Okay, four planks, very nice. Four sticks. Well, let's make an axe. Perfectly normal axe. Oh, we're talking. This has that mod where you can just uh, throw stuff on the ground. I think it doesn't spawn, maybe? I don't know. Never really used it. So we'll just twerk a little more here. There we go. Alright, we'll be back. So what these silkworms do, you can uh, right-click them onto a leaf, and you see the little progress bar there. Once that's done, it will be uh, a different texture, and we'll see it. And when you break it with the crook, you'll get strength. Now, you don't want to use this on your last sapling. I think we're perilously close to being able to make a furnace here. And in turn, charcoal lights things up a little bit in here. Come here. 
There we go. I guess we're about to find out if furnaces are normal. Yes, did you see those stone pants? That was pretty good. Okay. So furnace down. Um, this is not the most efficient in the world, but it is what it is. Okay, so while that's cooking up, these finished up quick. I feel like I'm used to waiting much longer in other packs for these, uh, these leaves to change over. This is no sense hanging around. What am I gonna do? Go sightseeing? Very nice. Look at all that strength. Maybe it's definitely going to be this thing. Oh, chop a tree down. That's a good amount of strength. Okay, I think we completed a quest there. Yes, we did. Random reward. Four basic capacities. Okay, that's actually really cool. That's some little bit of finicky crafting we don't have to do later on. Okay, 16 of any wood. Well, we got four, so I'm going to get some more. Okay, so we just completed a whole bunch of quests all at once. We've got our photosynthesis for suckers. Words. I want, want some to spoke. Okay, this is what it is. Uh, we got uh, Silk Road. That's a random reward. More chance cues. Throw them in the chat. Watch, some of this is going to be really powerful. Okay, so Tinker's Construct Mining Dimension. And a sieve. Okay, so let's let's see if we can start with Tinkers here. So I need one log. Um, first thing we probably want to make is stencils. These blank patterns as it were. Because pattern and oak planks for a stencil table. There's our hammer. There it is. And we're going to want a stencil chest or pattern chest, which is a chest in a blank pattern. That down. We're gonna want a part builder, which is a wood block and one of the blank pattern. And finally, we're gonna want a tool station, which is a crafting table and a pattern. And we're also going to make Normal crafting table, turn that into crafting station, and we're going to put that right here. Four torches. Where does it belong? Right here. Oh, that's better. Okay, so that's uh, the whole thing. Item magnet. That's interesting. Throw it in the chest. So we can make some uh, some more tools here. We're gonna make some more stencils too. I can't stop calling them stencils. They're blank patterns. Is what they are. Okay. Now this is a uh, multi-block, we can switch from 
one of these to another. But what we're going to want is a pickaxe head pattern, shovel head pattern, axe head pattern. We're going to want the tool rod. Where are that's a nice blade? There's the sword blade we're looking for. We're going to want a binding pattern and a wide guard pattern for our sword. Now, if we go to the uh, part builder, we have access to everything, all these uh, stencils in our pattern chest, the sword blade pattern. But we're going to start with a pick. That'll cost us some stone. We're going to make a binding. And we're going to make a tool rod. And we could have just done this in the multi block, but we pick the tool we want to make here. Fill in the parts. You can name it if you want. Now we got a stone pickaxe. And we can also make a shovel. Oh, here we go. And you get the idea. So I'm going to mine up a little more stone here, make an axe and a sword, and then we'll be back. So the stone pick broke very quickly. Um, but we can uh, fix that right up. In our tool station. Alright, I think we have all the right parts now. Make our stone sword. Uh, what do I do with the blade? I don't see the blade. I might have forgotten to make it. Stone sword, quite a bit better than nothing. And here's a stone axe. So you'll 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 notice that these are not as good as uh, like a regular stone axe. I'm making them because they level up, and I believe that we'll be able to replace parts. So we'll find out. Anyway, the next thing we want to make, probably, is, uh, is a sieve. So let's see what's all involved in that. I don't know how to spell sieve as part of what's involved in that. Um, okay, so maybe we should just be looking at the quest book. I think we have to make the sieve and the mesh separately now. So let's see. There we go. Sieve and a string mesh. Okay. So our sieve will just need a little bit of wood. Okay, a little bit of wood later. We're going to need some slabs. And here's our sieve. And we're going to need a mesh. I know we're going to need string for that, so how much? A couple, we got a string mesh, a quince stiffened mesh, an iron stiffened mesh, a diamond stiffened mesh. Okay, that's not that expensive. Alright, let's put it down. Put the mesh in it. And then I'm sure the quest book will guide us as to what this is. Oh, we got a cobble gem. Wait, really? We got a cobblestone gem right now? Right here. I don't really know how it works. Maybe put it above an inventory. Let's uh, 
give that a try. Just kind of spitballing here. We may need a automation that we don't have access to. Oh, well, that's what happened when we put on the inventory. We got on the chest, of course. Can't open the chest. Maybe it will become clear. Peak efficiency, make a heavy sieve. Crucible. Blocks like gravel, sand, dust, and ore. So, what we can do here is uh, take our hammer. Let's the chest here. Or actually, for the time being. And we smash up a bit of stone. Cobblestone. Very nice. I'm going to put some cobblestone down. And we're going to smash it up into gravel. And then take your gravel and right click on your sieve, hold right click down, and you'll slowly gather resources. You'll see like stuff like springing into my inventory. Or like that time, sometimes not. So we got uh, some copper ore pieces, a little bit of coal, piece of aluminum ore, and we're going to want to build up a good amount of all of that. So as far as the quest book goes, it's telling us to make tool forge, visit the mining dimension. I'm thinking probably unclaimed rewards. Oh, here. Wonder what it is. Demonically gargantuan drum. Okay, so that can hold a lot of liquid. <laughs> so, here's the basic idea. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I don't know what's going on. Am I wearing blue eyes? Alright, well me and my googly self is uh wanna check out for now and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.